video is going to be a little bit different to the videos I usually do. You've probably seen uh, by the title. So today I'm going to be talking about the incident in Cincinnati Zoo where the male Western Lowland gorilla um, was killed. The gorilla called Harambe. Um, so you may have seen this has been going quite crazy over the social media recently um, about the incident and I thought I'd like to just give my opinions and views on it. Um, I also invite you guys to leave your opinions and views down in the comments section. Um, I do read them all, so it'd be interesting to see uh, your guys' thoughts. So I'm going to record um, inside one of my communal cages so you can see something that's going on while I'm talking. Um, this is my green and old uh, and red eye tree frog cage. So you'll be able to see these guys sort of moving around. Um, so we'll get into the video. So for you that may not know already, um, there was an incident in Cincinnati Zoo where a four-year-old child managed to get and fall into the gorilla cage. Um, this cage was home to one of their gorilla families um, and had the gorilla that was part of the incident named Harambe, um, which was a 17-year-old male Western Lowland gorilla. One of the most endangered uh, mammals, they're in fact critically endangered. Uh, he was born in 1999. So the gorilla actually grabbed the young boy and pulled him through the water. Um, a lot of people are believing it could be due to the amount of noise. Um, and if you've probably seen the video, you'd know that there was quite a lot of shouting and screaming. Now, a lot of people are saying and I mean, if the child was watched and wasn't allowed to actually crawl through the barriers, there's a few different stories where it says that the child climbed a barrier, crawled through a barrier, but anyway, if the child was actually being watched, um, and it makes you wonder whether this incident would have happened, but anyway, it basically resulted in the zoo staff team having to make the very difficult decision to actually shoot the gorilla. Um, they worried that basically it could have been a very dangerous situation for the child and that it could have potentially been killed. Um, now they did shoot the gorilla um, and the child basically had no, no major injuries. There was a couple of scrapes and bruises but apart from that there was no serious injury. Now, there has been a lot of outrage saying that um, the parents, well, the mother that was there should actually be liable for that um, and should be charged. Now, I do, do also agree with this. I mean, if she was properly watching the child, I mean, yes, it was a mistake, but if she was properly watching that child and making sure that he wasn't climbing those barriers or crawling under them, and then maybe this incident would have happened and there would still be one of these gorillas left. Um, he was very young. He was only 17, so a very young gorilla. Now, there is a petition at the moment on a website that I will, I will leave the link to, which is change.org. Um, it's basically to pass a new law they'd like to pass called Harambe's Law. Now, so far, there is 150,224 supporters of this petition. Um, I'm just going to feed uh, the female green and all you can see just in the camera now. Um, I'm going to give her a male jubilee root which is close to see. So basically the law is saying that there should be legal consequences. Basically if the law's passed there should be legal consequences when any endangered animal is killed or harmed due to visitor neglect or negligence in the zoo. So if an endangered species in a zoo is killed or injured because, for example, someone like in this incident has gone into the cage and the animals had to be killed, then there should be consequences for that and that person should be responsible. Now, if it is passed, as I said, individual, individuals will be accountable for any of the harm or death 
to that animal. And I mean, personally, I think this, this will be a good law. It'll mean there's better protection for the zoo as well as its animals. It also help hold people accountable for their actions. I mean, yes, the child, child's only four, didn't know what he was doing. However, the fact of the matter is, if that parent was watching the child properly, um, they would have noticed that he was climbing the barriers. If they noticed he was climbing or even trying to crawl under the barriers, then they should have been prevented from doing so. And this incident probably wouldn't have happened. Now, it is sad. It's, it, as I said, it has strung a lot of um, high tension in the animal world. A lot of uh, people for animal rights are getting very, very angry with the fact and there is a lot of petitions and a lot of um, things being called out that the mother should actually be looked into by the police and charged for this incident. The zoo staff and the actual gorilla team are very, very upset about the fact. Um, if you actually watch the zoo create creator talking about the incident, you could see that he, he clearly was quite um, distressed by the fact that they had to put this gorilla down in as such um i mean because they're an endangered critically endangered species that's that's now reduced that's one gorilla out of the captive breeding programs in captivity um for a species that really really doesn't do well out in africa with hunting and poaching for the black market trade so that's my opinions on the matter um please i invite you to leave your comments below um, and let me know what you feel about the matter whether you think um, that yes the parents should be charged for it um, and there should be some legal actions as i said i will leave the link to the petition in the comment in the comment below so that you guys if you want to can sign the petition um, and join the other 150,224 supporters so also thanks for watching the video guys leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy and also if you enjoyed these sorts of videos where it's a little bit about um animals and sort of the media and the news then drop a comment saying whether you want to see more of them and i'll try and make some more of these sorts of videos if you do enjoy them so thanks for watching guys see you in the next video